is a real stereotype that engineering is for men, that it's a men's world. It's actually about 90% male and 10% female in software engineering. When I went to med school, oh, I'm going to be a surgeon, the girl girls don't do that. Well, I mean, there's two ways of going forward. You either listen or you don't. And I chose not to listen. <laughs> How often have you been told you can't do something? Why? Because the person who's telling you that you can't do it didn't do it. For the girls, get to the table. There's, there's no reason why you can't be there. There started to be a lot of advertising around computers and consoles like Nintendo, who I love, but all of their advertising had boys in it. And so families thought stuff was for boys. Um, kids thought this was stuff for, with, for boys and are still living with that legacy. So I think part of it is just normalizing women's involvement again because actually all of the first computer programmers were women. They wrote like rocket code because it was programming was seen as like typing women's work but then dudes came along and found out that actually this is pretty cool and so we're, now we're gonna kind of take it over. Women bring into industry different types of skills. They bring in a more um, sensible and social emotional intelligence. They do bring in more diverse ways of thinking. They're more aware of like the social impacts of what they're doing and that makes better products, more sustainable products and a much more sustainable industry. Are you ready to start? Yes. Go for it. Now the girls are becoming confident in their decision making and seeing themselves through role models, through programs that we're um, associated with, that they can do these things. The airlock will open once all the water's gone. Engagement in STEM is actually fundamental because then you know when somebody's telling you that the, this is good and that is bad, you know, okay, that makes sense. I think that there's a changing awareness within young people and people finishing school uh, that you can become a successful female tradesperson and it doesn't have to be a normal apprenticeship. You can become an electrician or a fitter. There's always an element that you can build on and you can move with technology. That is cool. Things that robots and, and computers are still really bad at doing are the things that are really hard to automate. So a computer programmer 48% chance of being automated, but things like teacher or writer or game designer are actually like one or two percent because they require creativity and critical thinking and soft skills. So I think that women and, and girls are actually positioned to be leaders in that field. We've had girls who said, I like maths and science and I've always just thought that I had to be a doctor. But now I know there's so much more out there for me. I know that I can work on big problems. I know that I can change the world. I think the main thing is to always just be curious and to look around your environment for new ideas. Just start doing. Just what do you love doing? What, do you, what gives you energy? And just start doing that. Don't ask for permission. Don't wait, wait for permission to do anything. That was how I got into games. Your education gives you those choices. And we are moving into a space where unless your education has a solid STEM component, your choices will be limited.